back to the world famous comedy store podcast right here on 98.7 The Buzz. It's me, Crazy Dave, in the morning. With me, as always, it's Laugh Girl. Uh, yeah, who do we got here today doing the, the local oh, weather? Oh, we have Jeff Danis. Could you introduce me as new influencer, Jeff Danis? New. Yeah, yes. newly influencer. new influencer. Finally willing to let the world see how you do it. All on Instagram and Twitter. Oh, uh, yeah. Do I them mean, both. Mark wild. Uh, the Zuck called me and said, you got to get on the, on the, the gram. What the fuck? Oh, the gram. Not on the FB. Just wanted me on the gram for now. What? We'll okay. see. What the fuck did the Zuck say? He was when just he like, I used Zuck don't big fuck fan. around. Did he say big fan? He said big fan, longtime fan, first time caller. Nice. <laughs> And he's training. He's he asked for me some advice on how he can beat Elon Musk yeah. and fight. I gave him some advice. Did, what, did you have any tips that you want to share with everyone? I We're, said that torso is you got to go for yeah. it. You got to really. It doesn't, it doesn't does he look have a good. long torso. Up close, it looks like an alien got Ooh, melted a little bit. Okay, and then it's not long. It's just bloated and like misshapen. There's got a it. decent chance that it's cyborg from the titties down. Ooh. And there's like a processing thing that's covered in a lot of yeah. flubber uh, or, because of how it heats up. Or you can just open it up with all the circuitry. It's very possible. The, the cyborg parts. <laughs> just, yeah. wah, wah, wah. just open then, it up. You've never okay. seen Elon Musk's torso there? I can't think of it. No. It looks like Barry Diamond. It's like barrel chested, <laughs> but like it, it's a mix between Barry Diamond and E.T. If he starts singing, I'll be walking in Memphis, then I'll believe it's Barry Diamond. He's my current, Barry probably Diamond. favorite comedian online. Barry Diamond? No, Elon Musk. Oh, yeah. Great bits. Uh, hilarious guy. Good stuff. Really good stuff? Good, good stuff. Good He's stuff. a funny guy. Man, uh, good stuff. He did attempt to uh, categorize himself. While speaking to Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle, as that they were th really three of the biggest guys fighting for freedom of speech. Wow. And Dave immediately clapped back, well, Why are you on the list? <laughs> and he said, Well, because of Twitter. And he goes, Man, that bathroom stall of a website is the biggest waste of money I've ever seen in my life. Dave said that to yeah. him. Good for Jeez. him. And Good the, for the, him. The look on the face of the richest man in the world crumbling. And then by the end of the night, second richest man in the world. <laughs> Like literally, like someone knew he got taken yeah, down, yeah, and they're yeah. like, "Take away two hundred billion." Yeah, real quick. yeah. That's the definition of fuck you money when you can just tell him that Twitter's a piece of shit. Oh, dude, right yeah. to his face. It, we'd love to get you on there. Oh, I'm not getting on that pile of shit. Well, didn't it, Dave have somebody act as him, and then somebody act as uh, who's the, who's the one I love? Oh. Fuck, Cat in a Hat, Cat. Cat Williams? Cat Williams, thank yeah. you. He used to go by Cat in a Hat. He owes a buddy of mine money from a bus <laughs> he ticket. certainly does. John Little, if, if, if you're watching, Johnny, how you doing? Johnny, John we Little, miss you. Uh, Lone Wolf. I'm going to get that $50 back for you, buddy. I believe Parts Unknown, somewhere on the American frontier, was last I heard. He's hunting buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, somebody was acting as them and then started a fight. And okay. like, was neither one of them... Was actually it, involved. No. Yeah. And it was just fake accounts with their names. And they were just, like, reading them. And they were like, the fight is funnier than us. Like, they were both reading it. Yeah. Being like, this is insane, whoever did this. It's like watching theater, I guess, where people are playing yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is yeah. pretty good stuff. I enjoy it. <laughs> That's not bad. They really know my voice. <laughs> like, this, this they is get good. My vo I wouldn't say that to Kat. That's not an I wouldn't say that to Dave. But <laughs> they really get my voice. Oh. They got the insults perfect. Really? What's happening right now? I think it's, it's about regarding. Touch me. Are you all right? You there look, was some concern. I'm not this all is right, obviously Jeffrey. Like out live on the World Wide Web, and I believe he was getting a lot of chatter from the online oh, discourse, really? saying the curtains looked a little messed up. We what can't do you fix think that of in this, post. Uh, set up here. I think it's this is a class. This is way classier than the Comedy Store deserves. I'll say 100%. that. hundred percent. You feel Comedy Store esque. I don't. Here. I'm gonna say I almost didn't show up one because I'm in mourning for. Uh, Tom Smothers. Is that oh, his name? Oh, yeah. Honestly, the worst was it Tom of, the, of the brothers. <laughs> is the other one alive? I believe Dick is still out there rock hard. Why is Dick, uh, why is Tom the worst? Didn't they fight a Eleanor, lot? Do you remember when they came here? Yeah, they had a yo-yo fight once. Oh, my God. That was not, so only, <laughs> not only did I yo, yo, remember you don't hear when me they though. came here, yeah. but I had to park cars because <laughs> fat fucking James was blueberrying in the back. He was such a Smothers Brothers fan. Oh, who isn't? Blueberry. Yeah, remember that who big fat a... <laughs> blue suit he would put on? He looked like the, oh, yes. 
He looked yes, like an yes, electric yes. blue Kool-Aid man. <laughs> he also had a purple yeah, I'm wearing my fancy suit, you no. fat fuck. He also had a nice purple suit, the Grimace. Oh, yeah. Uh, always I kept, remember the color. He always kept the nice braided cell oh, phone my, case for his little well, shitty phone, his little flip phone or whatever the, it was. The guy was pure coolness. But Did he wear the open toe sandals with it? I uh, don't remember. Some of the worst the fingernails. Claws, the claws. The fingernails, uh, you could see well oh. into them. Like, is that a chicken McNugget under one of the nails? <laughs> 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 Jeff, you know it was. You know it was. I ate ah. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Smother Brothers are here. Oh, I got a picture. I literally showed up and I'm like, wait, why am I working a lot? And uh, Jason Lucas like, well, the Smother Brothers are here. So uh, you're going to have to put uh, the Fat James backstage because oh he's a big time fan. Oh, God. <laughs> do you remember when he dressed as Cupid for the. Yeah, what? do I? Beautiful man. For what? What did you do that uh, for? It was a Valentine's Day show. All I remember is Eddie Van Halen was here and he was hitting on me and I was so excited about yeah. it. I, I mean, I was Rest in a relationship in with another big 80s star, so I couldn't do anything, but... Bronson Pinchot. P- <laughs> but I couldn't... Oh, so I, w- I just remember being like, oh, now Eleanor he's was on fucking me? Cousin Larry from Perfect Strangers at the time. And Booger, who I'm, I'm Curtis Armstrong. <laughs> oh, Booger. A.K.A. Booger. <laughs> taking, a, taking a crack at Booger. <laughs> <laughs> and you dated Ogre for a while. I don't know his real name. <laughs> Me either, but I would have dated. I definitely would have dated Ogre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this boy. Nerd. This why <laughs> when he's eating the pie. <laughs> so That's good. my pie. <laughs> All right. So anyway, Eleanor's getting hit on by Eddie Van so Halen. Yeah, I'm getting hit on him, and out of nowhere comes Fat James, sandals, Ooh. claws, Ugh. the thing, diaper, diaper toga, the wings, yeah. fucking wings. No shirt. And, uh, 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 no shirt. And, uh, um, a bow, bow and arrow. arrow, yeah. And he started to shoot. Oh, should I shoot you guys? And I was like, "Get <laughs> away from me! Shoot yourself!" This uh, this fat, annoying fuck was so terrible, and he, drove me fucking crazy. That idiot who everyone hated him. And so when I was new, he would always try and be friends. Right? Hey, come over, we we'll eat pizza and watch Belushi movies. I'm like, I bought gr- donuts. We're grown men. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why would we leave work at two in the morning and go eat pizza right. and watch Belushi movies? <laughs> Let's come hang out. I'm, I'm get lonely when Steve's on the road. Could oh, you at least poor fucking poor Steve? Simone. Could you at least comb his pompadour? He was an Elvis impersonator. Oh, yeah, yeah. The he was. pompadour was pretty big. Beautiful pompadour. He drove that convertible just to get a little extra volume on the way to the comedy store. <laughs> Uh, well, so of smart. all people to put in the lot, you put a guy who's 400 and something pounds. A lot of these cars are pretty small. He was like an air freshener for your car. I remember which is also <laughs> remember when they fired him and part of Mitzi's complaint at that point was that he made the car stink. And there's no argument. He couldn't argue and, that. And they could not Making that. the car stink. And, and literally every one of us was like, yeah, that checks. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> she's got a point there. Oh, dude, well, path. One of the few times. The old gal is not or, not wrong. She's oh being rational God. today. You imagine having dementia and being 250 years old, but still being able to smell a fat guy's smell in your car? What is that? You're ruining my it Jaguar. It smells like clogged arteries. <laughs> Get him out of my car. Look at the grease marks on the front seat. <laughs> it's like Soul Glow style. Oh, oh, yeah. Pompadour. Where he put so his head. Glow. And he's just got Big Mac fingers oh, all over your coming. steering wheel. You know, as we talked about Revenge of the Nerds earlier. Fat mm. James was so proud of the fact that he I know what you're going to say. Classes. I know what you're going to say. From Lamar from Revenge of the Nerds. He was the black guy from Revenge of the Nerds. He's a great actor. If anybody a wants to in my class, you know, we got a response. He's in Karate Kid. <laughs> oh, my what? God. Then he'd show you his SAG card. I'm like, I, I got a wait table. It's, I got to bring His SAG card up. was just right there in your face. Yeah, every just five seconds. <laughs> Ingram, you're not going to believe it. I just booked a gig. I'm in a movie with Sherman Helmsley. This thing is going to be huge. She's making Sherman a comeback. Sherman Helmsley. Hilarious. He was, uh, he was, I was he in was Bermuda one one. for two days. <laughs> they did a bunch of shots of me on a beach. Eleanor, a lot of people, oh, they've God. been talking all over. When I went upstairs to do my set, the whole crowd like, was talking what about it. What is the chipmunk doing down there? They're worried you have some sort of uh, disease that can be spread. <laughs> oh, my God. When did you get you got your wisdom? That? <laughs> That's saying, what it feels like. They're saying patient zero. But even that, 
was less painful. Whatever this is, this is extremely painful. Well, this is domestic violence, but you're covering it with, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. with a tooth problem. It, it is like painful think, depending uh, on who's swinging those fists. <laughs> who's swinging those bats. Yeah. You were just I'm in sorry. Philly, correct? Hey, man, none of your business. Yeah, exactly. I'll leave early. We'll Actually, see what we happens. Actually, take it back. It's not technically domestic violence in Philly. <laughs> they just call that teaching a bitch how to listen. That's right. She just don't listen. Yeah. I like it. You did some of, you did the smashing. Who did the Who's grabbing? Gonna... <laughs> you got hit in the face as a Decoy. We heard you were in Philadelphia <laughs> smothering brothers. Is that? I killed Tom. That's Man, what happened. That's hot. Is there? I didn't. He see, tried to fight back. I didn't see a rest in peace to Tom on the sign as I pulled up. Is there one? That's kind of fucked up. No, it, it actually, <laughs> maybe a few yo-yos hanging it, down. And it, it, they went with uh, spend New Year's at the store or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, I got a way I, more important. I resent after after going with shows nightly for. <laughs> Two years. Yeah, come see a nightly show. When we were dormant, I'd do people's names. Every and they had no sliders. Steve Renazizi, is that a short name to get yeah. 800 right. letters? Yeah. Fake Maz Jabrani, is that a Caparillo? short name? John Caparillo. John Caparillo. Cool. All of them. Oh, long yeah. names. And then she changed it to Campy, but she, he wouldn't let her put it up there. Yeah, like, let us put Campy. <laughs> These guys would come see a nightly show. They don't even have to change it. No. Ever. Because they no. complained about it, and so it's over. They have a union? What's going on now that <laughs> these guys get whatever they want? <laughs> Jeff just thinks they have a it union sounds, somewhere. Sounds like they've unionized. It honestly it's sounds weird, card. but now the required management has to suck everyone's dick at the end of Whoa, each night. Whoa, and that I is wouldn't be shocked. Dean, I'm surprised Dean isn't trying to come back. I heard, I, Bro, guys, I heard a, a great story pleaser. about, uh, so there was a lady in the front row few nights uh, it was christmas eve okay and um she had had a few too many drinks no i don't believe and that here i took an alcohol I, training class here they tell you what to look for yeah, that's right so i i was on stage <laughs> and i did they had me do 30 minutes okay and on christmas eve and christmas eve yeah i was closing out the show originally and then we decided to add someone but they, they said do 30 minutes then bring up the next person but for, Maybe three or four times during my set, this lady just was like talking loudly, right? And and so I referenced to her being a cunt a bunch of times, <laughs> but she was kind of mouthy about okay. it, and you know everyone laughed. She didn't seem to like it, so I had to say it three more times. Yeah, she didn't hear it. Yeah, well, She's I not thought maybe I thought maybe she listening. was mad because she thought I didn't say it. Got it. So I That's, said it again. It's usually and, better to be safe than sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and so then I was like, wait, I th she definitely heard it that time. But <laughs> if she's really that dumb of a cunt, maybe it's a processing thing. Right? Yes. <laughs> maybe she doesn't get it. So I tripled down. Yeah. And then, and then I, the fourth time, it was more of a reference. Right. Like I was like, you guys remember when I called that cunt a cunt? <laughs> Uh, the, so the, the, that's the cunt two. callback. Yeah. yeah. Classic. Cut's a um, cunt. And so, I, you know, I call her that, and then I referenced one of the previous ones, so I didn't count that as a fifth cunt. Got it. So then I got off stage, and I brought up Don Barris to uh, close the show, legend. Uh, to and, bring up a lot more cunts. Yeah, so Don went out <laughs> there, and I, I left maybe within five to seven minutes of being off stage, and apparently after that, things got a little wild, and at some point... She was trying to throw her table on stage at Don Barris. <laughs> only she wasn't strong enough to lift the tables because they're they're pretty they're, heavy. They're shockingly heavy yeah. compared to what well, you would imagine. Well, they're, they're from flimsy. the seventies. Yeah. They're real metal. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah. They're, made, they're made of lead. There's yeah, yeah, no yeah. question about it. Um, they put so, some of the comics' ashes in the. Yeah. Uh, in the <laughs> they always fill them up. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> formerly hollow. <It's> a <laughs> Two of them in the front are just Ollie Joe. Those yeah, are yeah, extra yeah. heavy. That's the long one. Yeah, they took. Yeah, I took a few. Few tables right? so uh so then security started escorting her she just started swinging on no people she just smacked some old dude in the face wow gave him a, a nice bruise on both above and on the side Whoa. Of, he was just sitting there watching and on her way out punched him in the, in the face and then Jeez. uh was hitting doormen as they basically dragged her Whoa. out and so they dragged this lady out and they they you know tossed her out, got rid of her, and of all people to witness this whole charade <laughs> in the hallway were uh, Lady Laney and Sir Jer Bear Gelber. Whoa. And Laney commented in front of Richie 
that if Dean were in charge, this, this kind of thing happen. never would have happened. Oh, wow. my God. And her own son, her own flesh and blood, Dean the Nightmare Whoa. Galper. And Richie not responded. Watch. Richie wasn't having it. And he oh, just, Richie, Richie, oh. Richie's he usually not having it. <laughs> he said, Dean didn't do shit. <laughs> if Dean was here, they wouldn't even have her out of the room right now. And then he stormed away. Then he punched he, Jerry he in the stomach. <laughs> he basically <laughs> stone cold stunnered both of them with that so vicious good. comeback. And wow. then walked away and they were they were left they were speechless. Like, oh, do we have to pay for our drinks tonight? They, they were forced to pay $430,000 for their drink tab. Wasn't that you guys that did the drink tab for Lane uh, and Jerry? Dean Gelber Rose? It was me and I can't forget who I did. I can't remember who I did it with, but yeah, I, I was involved in it. Yeah, the long... That's right. Very <laughs> shoddy memory. Yeah, from, I can't, uh, that I can't era. recall. Oh, shit, you're an asshole. Who, yeah, I don't know nothing. I'm not getting right. Hinchcliffe? Maybe not. Uh, even Tom or Dick Smothers. I don't I don't remember. <laughs> there is a Dick Smothers. Now that Dick Smothers is a free agent, I might enter Whoa. in as, as Dude, a new Smothers. Jeffy are you, Smothers? <laughs> are you <laughs> any good with a yo-yo? You could be the grandson. I could train. I could yeah. train with a yo-yo. Dude, how long would it Yo-yos take? Yo-yos are you hard. Could, you could probably be a yo-yo master in three weeks. You could be smothering across the country. I want to. I want to be smothered. I remember our waitresses, like May, being like, "Who the fuck are the Smothers brothers?" <laughs> May and Katie Dude, just like Elena. I never heard of this fucking packed. couple, and I'm like, "They're not couple. They're brothers." The couple. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought this couple was called the Smothers brothers. <laughs> they're not even oh, legally weird. married, oh, and they're not it. black. Why are they called I brothers? Get anybody I, I get can't a fuck com- these guys. I thought there was going to be brothers here. <laughs> <laughs> she got so much. Anybody get a come this fucking show why i gotta fucking it work was packed it? i really was so mad packed. a bunch of celebrities came to watch yeah. this really <laughs> these yahoos yeah, because they fucking... were they got I guess they were they the were first kids. to get canceled yeah. they got kicked off tv for steve, what and they uh, but, political stuff and really? a bunch of people like steve martin wrote for them and stuff mm-hmm. so uh, uh, robin williams i remember all these people well, they came definitely to watch. showed how respect and then like within a week oh sorry may what the hell was that with, like after they because they were here a few times yeah, um they may, did they did three nights and then they came back like six months later yeah and then may was like are they gonna bring the yo-yos again and i'm like it's she, she part was of the converted yeah. Yeah. yeah she didn't know there was yoing <laughs> <laughs> she was playing with it in the kitchen doing with the guy because they gave out yo-yos do you think great. as a are older? Are they still yo-yoing like in bed in like a convalescence home, like just working the joint? I'll say this: it's very similar to every comedy store comedian that was here Walk in the eighties and, and it still just hangs people. out now and tries to do magic tricks. <laughs> Wait a minute, because they're Wait. creepy as fuck. <laughs> Who could you That's be no talking way about? To talk about my Jimmy Schubert? <laughs> oh, are we talking about Schubert? I, I was I, talking no, about. No, you were talking about Bursky, probably. Bursky. No. Oh, oh, no. oh. no, there's three different guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Alan, Jimmy, uh, Steve. Uh, what's his? Jeff Altman. Ah, that's who I was thinking. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff Altman. Altman. Uh, I didn't know he does Charlie that. I believe Fleischer. Jeff is gone, I there believe. Are, what a magical time. Yeah. But, to Jeff have to have at least five boomers all trying to do magic <laughs> so tricks on good. 25-year-olds. Can I show you this? What are you doing after this? We should go eat. <laughs> I once you creepy fuck. I once yeah. saw one of those guys. I won't say who it was. Uh, but he just he saw a woman. He did a double take, beeline back to the front patio on the other on the, the parking lot side, and just leered like she was ten feet away for the for like thirty minutes straight. I was like, that is dedication <laughs> yeah. to creepiness <laughs> and magic. Did he get any? I do not think so. No. Yeah, uh, it, it was scary. Uh, Schubert used to entertain us in the kitchen and fuck around, light things on fire. It was always funny. Eleanor, uh, <laughs> listen. But that was when I was waiting tables. Uh, Eleanor. That was a long time ago. <laughs> we're talking about unsuspecting yeah, deer yeah, yeah. in a meadow women. I hear you. <laughs> Are you by yourself right now? Right, no, right, no, right. I'm not. I'm with my family. Well, can I show you a trick really quick? <laughs> Which card do you think this is? That's a three of clubs. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> That's not even a card trick. You're just creepy. Hey. What's your name? Where are we going? <laughs> Look in my pee hole and you'll what? see your card. <laughs> What's your name? Where are we going? That's the trick. The trick is me, an old man, <laughs> tricking you back to my apartment. <laughs> it's a huge trick. Ignore all those locks on the door. This is a very violent part of town. 
<laughs> what? Why are they locked from the inside? Yeah, for a while there was it was almost like a magic club yeah. in the parking lot upstairs of older men <laughs> just reliving their youth. It was the magic castle in the belly room. Yeah, for the a yo-yo while. room mm-hmm. off to the side. The brothers. <laughs> oh, if you're looking for some boomer sleight of hand, just head <laughs> over to the, the head main, on over the, the left side of the main room. They haven't had a show in there for four weeks. Let me show you something real quick. Dean, you wouldn't have had that. <laughs> Not my Dean. Well, listen, when Dean that was the manager, happened. there was a full blown Thai Chaos. gambling casino going yes, on in the main room for a while. Yes. yes. <laughs> I remember there were people learning the piano oh, in the main room because there were never shows. I was like, what are you doing? Like, oh, I just come here to play the piano and at this piano here. Yeah. <laughs> Brad it's- Watson would give KD piano lessons mid mid shift. Oh, KD, God. rest in peace. Died a R.I.P. Hero. R.I.P. He's a lock guy, former lock guy. KD. I want to get yeah. some of the lock guys together for a lock guy reunion. Oh, I like this. Just like a uh, high school thing? Mac like- Lindsay. I, I saw <laughs> Mac Lindsay now that I'm on Instagram. He lives in Greece. These guys in Greece making soap. <laughs> yep. He's out there making soap. He's yeah. his making chemistry soap degree to, to his advantage. Soap. He's, he's okay. fight club style. He's he, actually turned into Tyler Durden. He had a now. long <laughs> manufacturing human fat into soap, oh, I believe. My a lot God. of his posts are in uh, Greek, yeah. so I can't read them. But some of them are in English. And one was this long thing of like, this soap is from this region in Greece, been around for thousands of years. He this really is, also, is peddling soap. This is also the first place where I sp- I communicated telepathically with bees, and I was like, "This is the Mac I know and I love, and I may buy some soap." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, if you he's need doing that Greek soap, hymen <laughs> blood on Care Bear sheets, I'm I'm in. It's made of Greek yogurt, <laughs> uh, mostly, and fish fish heads. <laughs> It's a Mediterranean, a Mediterranean feel. <laughs> Mustache hair. <laughs> He's just scooping at the beach, like, <laughs> forming it. He puts it like a freezer. It He's makes like, perfect sense. Let me send yeah. it off. <laughs> there is the mucus of monkey bone inside of it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Some legends. <laughs> this building has housed some legends. It really has. That's I don't like when they pass new people. That there's no like they should give you a book of like here's some well, of the past history. Yeah, just yeah. so you can catch up. Yeah, he, here are the most insane people of the last 25 years. Yeah, <laughs> the year and you need Put to know there. them. I feel here are like, their mugshots. This here are the crimes be, they committed. Uh, this might be up to us. <laughs> the we're, we're, we're the only people who know the crimes. <laughs> Boon Shakalaka, whereabouts unknown. Unknown. Boon Shakalaka, who I hope is dead, because uh, uh, we, we have a sword in history. Yeah. Uh, but I, the other night, I just was randomly by myself and just thought of Boon Shakalaki. Oh, no. <laughs> just by myself. Yeah. Well, and I was like, Locky, huh? Lotki. Like for Hanukkah. Yeah. I was like, it's over for me. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, is, this is not the end. <laughs> this is it. This is the end. Ooh, Boon Shakalaki. This Don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, we playing dreidel? I could tell you right now. Oh, depending oh. on whether your dick's out, oh. I could tell you which oh. side of this war in the Middle East I'm on. Oh, those, po- <laughs> those potato pancakes? I'll give him one dollar. Oh, I'm in love with a married man. I know where you live, Jeff Dane. We we always would say that. One of my favorite things about Boone was he. We took him to um, harass the Fred Phelps "God Hates Fags" protester people. Mm -hmm. (laughs) They go to just like every event, and that's what their main slogan is. And they're just these terrible people. So we thought it would be funny to take Boone Shock down there to harass him on Hollywood Boulevard. And he's given one guy the business about how they're, <laughs> what's with all this hate? <laughs> and they're all looking at each other like, this is exactly <laughs> why we preach this message, is this guy. Oh, oh. oh you, you know, know who else you is gay? You don't like me because I'm homosexual? <laughs> you need to get a better attitude. Take a look at Mexicans. <laughs> they don't care who they sell their shit to. They sell socks. <laughs> they sell. Uh, they sell shoes. <laughs> they sell corn on the dog. And the guy goes, what's corn on the dog? He goes, corn dogs. What does that mean? Corn dog. Why do you call it corn on corn the dog? Corn on the dog. That's the classic. And the dude just set him up perfectly. He goes, what's corn on the dog? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Can I take a bath at your house? Ooh. Try to change your Why are you mind? teaching these little kids all this hate? <laughs> this little kid, I want to teach you love. He's like, get away from that little girl. Get away from that kid. Sit on my lap over here. Let me teach you about love. Why is Santa's wife always mad? Ooh, where's, where's little Eli at? <laughs> Santa can only come once a year. <laughs> it's a classic boom. You know who else is gay? Oh, uh, sure. Why? He always said that. What's up with 50 Cent? Looking like Harriet Tubman. <laughs> he do. He do. <laughs> that was one of his classics. 
I, God I, rest I, his soul. He's up there with uh, Tom Smothers. Up, huh? <laughs> Tom Smothers is now doing up? a, oh, a duet with Boone. Boone's in heaven? Just, For sure. It, they, he got to the pearly gates, and they <laughs> said, you, you think you belong here? And he said, name. let me ask you this, St. Peter. What's 12 inches long and white? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. And then thing. they just opened the gates. Oh, oh, perfect. Like, we need one of these. They're like, he's right on the money. What's the difference between a Jew and a canoe? <laughs> canoe a tip. <laughs> Damn. Classic. Damn. Still got it. Still got it even in death. <laughs> this Still guy, got it. He wrote, I remember I would see OR crowds laugh at him and I would just shit. I'd be like, so mad. So I don't want to be in this world. I don't want to live here anymore. I don't want to be around any of these people. I can't breathe. I'm like, just light the building on fire. God, if you're up there, kill us. If you're us real, all. show us. Show us, please. Sodom and Gomorrah again, please. Like, people are like, die. I'm like, it's a genuine laughter. It wasn't ironic. Yeah, yeah. The like, canoe is... will tip. Like, That's a great joke that I will tell everyone I know oh, back in wait. Sharif. What a great show. <laughs> He, it was weird. He danced for two minutes with a trash can <laughs> on his head. But once he started telling jokes, I really liked him. Yeah, I yeah. am. Uh, he would come up with just his underwear or a diaper or, or no, something. Or no, or a t-shirt with uh, his own writings and marker on it. Mm-hmm. White True. shirt. We had to really, really like, who's Danny Bilak? Uh, yeah, and one time, but he, this time he had like just a diaper or just his underwear on was and a bloody James toe. Cuba, that, Cuba a diaper? bloody toe. Oh. And I was like, I go, boom, what happened? And he's like, oh, I don't know. And he just took the mic and I'm oh, like, oh. To get into it. Boone, I, mean, I, Boone, I gotta go up there with sterilizer. He looked Ugh. like Herm Edwards if he had all the AIDS. <laughs> and, Hello, ah. we played to win the game. <laughs> <laughs> Boone walked up to me when I right before I went into the hospital for my diabetes, and I just was sick looking. He walks up to me and he goes, "How are you?" And I go, I- "I'm all right, Boone." And he goes, "You look like you are." Die. <laughs> That's from him. Like, you look like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like the You're skeleton of Gaddafi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, Boone. Oh, I've boy. told this before, but it's worth retelling. Ari Shafir and I were talking like deep in the lot, just by ourselves, like in between cars. We were trying to, I guess, avoid people. Right. And all of a sudden, I think he popped out on one of those, uh, what do they call it? A creeper? Like the thing that goes under the, the car. The to do the, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he just comes out legitimately out of nowhere. <laughs> Ari was like scratching his shoulder and he goes, scratch that itch. <laughs> and Ari like, what, where, where, where did he come from? <laughs> scratch that itch? That's what, that's what he said. I was scratching. That was a crazy. That was crazy. How do you even see me? And he like disappeared. Uh, that was it. That's all he said. And he <laughs> slides, left. Slides back under Mac Lindsay's <laughs> van. <laughs> He redid his belt on the, on the muffler like De Niro and Cape Fear. Tightens one bolt. Off they go. <laughs> Scratch that itch. Ooh, okay. <laughs> like, I was scratching. That's what <laughs> and he said it. I was doing it right at the time. That freaked me out. <laughs> I was like, that was, I gotta go. That was like, that's a night ruiner. I'm leaving. I'm yeah, out. Yeah, I gotta go. creepy. Let's get in our cars. I hope he's not under it. It's almost New Year's Eve, and that reminds me of the New Year's Eve that Dan Bilak chased oh. a naked Matt, Matt Edgar, Edgar by. Don't yeah. tell Jeff Garland. And he Boone, was heavily upset by that. Boone Shakalaka <laughs> was so upset at the penises of two of the men that he was hoping to <laughs> fellatio. Well, if you'll recall, the fracas went on to the roof of the comedy store. Yes. Oh, I do remember. Then oh. it came back down. Mm. Two Into of them the naked. Street. Yeah, and it, it was a Benny Hill chase. Yeah, uh, ding, 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 ding. Danny B chasing Edgar into sunset. Boone chasing all everyone in the oh. rear. And was like, oh, he oh. naked? No, no. Uh, I said, Boone, what were you doing? Yeah, I, don't, I was I just trying remembered. to get a look. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, how did it go? Not good. <laughs> I looked over. It was like a little nub stub. All I saw was a little toe. Looked like a crushed cookie. Yeah, I was just going to say, that's what he said about crushed Tony. Cookie. <laughs> it looked like a smash cookie. What does that even mean? Look at the penis looking like a smash cookie. Dude, it d- just does. It's just what Boone... If you've seen dicks like I've seen dicks, you oh. would know. If, if anyone's an expert. You got a bathtub at your house. <laughs> <laughs> Not for you. You got kids, right? <laughs> Not for you, How are you going to clean your kids if you don't got a bath? It does make me sad that my kids will never meet. Yeah. Boone Chuck. Yeah. He, uh, or buy a book when, from him. When yeah. My when my oldest was born, Boone Chuck was like, You got a baby? Like, oh. I, uh, yeah, my wife had a baby. And he goes, Ooh, I want to film a skit. And oh. you could bring your baby down here. It'd only take 
15 minutes. It's a skit where there's a baby game show and the contestants <laughs> got to make the babies laugh. And it would just be me up close in your baby's face oh. doing faces. I'm like, yeah, that, my, my wife's not going to go She for hasn't that. been vaccinated yet. I got to. And we're yeah. doing it for free. Guy. I'm in. <laughs> more more importantly, <laughs> no I'm going to have to film it and edit it. <laughs> <laughs> Boone, Boone can't do that. <laughs> Boone, this is quite this the is offer. A, this is just like, you're not even going to record it? This is just a <laughs> live show once <laughs> for no one. <laughs> you're the guy. <laughs> You're going to make faces in my baby? So face? what happens if the baby laughs? Is he done or he just Ooh, keeps going? No, the, then the baby wins. <laughs> wins what? what? <laughs> oh, here you go, baby. That's half a banana peel. Oh, my God. That's you ain't so going home alone. Good. You ain't going home alone. The comedy store should uh, offer babysitting for so the comics. Sure, should put themselves out. We there. have dog sitting. We may as well here add babysitting. the comedy store. Well, there I mean, is there people, a dog sitting room? People bring their dogs, and everybody else. Will I watch do. Them. I like the idea. I think maybe we we take Mitzi's old office. I think it's yeah. time we turn it into a, a nursery during Perfect. the shows. Yeah, and so <laughs> if there's some mold in there that got, can help out with stuff. If you got kids mm -hmm. and you want to still do your fifteen, bring them by. Yeah. Or if you're a crowd member and you well, can't find a sitter, you just sure, bring the kids. Bring them bring Bring them up to the, the extra charge. Oh, I like the crowd. Three hundred, three hundred dollars. The people bringing kids in, what they would be a like. Three hundred dollar fee. It went from you, Riff. It moved to the Yeah, don't control. worry about it, asshole. They brought me back. PJ, you're yeah. in charge. I'm be judge, Mr. Mom. Yeah, so I put up a clip and PJ wrote, "Are you getting fat? Are you?" Get I was like, oh, "Wow, you man. got some balls." Son of class. Class. pure class. Yeah, first of all, my parents are dead. I'll say what I want now. <laughs> Both. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> He would be a good guy to be in charge of the comedy store daycare. It'd be night care. Yeah, yeah. Hey, night care. Davey, night change care. that kid's yeah, yeah. diaper. <laughs> I don't know how to fucking take care of these fucking kids. <laughs> hey, one of them's got my pocket knife. <laughs> yeah, him and Davey would be just tremendous. Hey, Richie, if you're listening... <laughs> Just they give make me five percent. They make a lot of dad movies. That would be a great scum, like daddy daycare. Scum bunch too. nursery. Yeah, scum bunch nursery. <laughs> PJ Davy. Maybe bring Pitt in for a do, few shifts. Do you Jimmy guys, Pitt. Do, you guys do babies? Yeah, we got a baby guy. Enter Mark Hatchell. <laughs> <laughs> now that I would leave my babies with him, I would have his babies. He would Smooth have jazz playing on the saxophone as he walks in, looks around. He would have eight hey, babies who's dead over there. Babies, you know who that is, Jimmy? Babies laying horizontally <laughs> down his gut, <laughs> just like eight. To, just, shut <laughs> just they've never been more comfortable, just up and down with his breath, with his Oklahoma Sooners jersey. Oh, oh so comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> now Damn. I want to sleep. He's like, now. I got to piss. And he's like, sorry. <laughs> hey, what's the deal with the baby guy over there? Jimmy, that's Mark. You work with him every episode. I ain't changing that old guy there. <laughs> no one said you had to. <laughs> AD, it's pandemonium down there. He, that was his number one quote. Pandemonium. During a David Arquette charity show in the main room. He freaked the fuck out on the back door. Dean, it's pandemonium back here. I can't do nothing. <laughs> pandemonium. Girl of Monsoon from 80s Wrestling was like, I approve of that usage of pandemonium. It's turning into a slobber knocker in there, Dean. <laughs> it's like, Pin, that is by far the biggest word you know. Amazing. No comparison. And he just used it. No comparison. No comparison. Dean yeah. just looked at him. Right? It's pandemonium. It's busy, bro. It's pandemonium, bro. Man. <laughs> I like how busy it is. Pan, I don't even think it was. I remember being there. I was like, Pitt, it's fine. There's just people like kind of coming and going. It's yeah, like, it's not that bad. Pandemonium. Worst weed not dealer of bad. all time, Jimmy Pitt. Hey, got uh, eight of some pretty good stuff if you're interested. <laughs> I look at it, I go, no, I'm good. Yeah, it's not that good. You can just have it. <laughs> wow. What? Man, that's quite the turnaround. He should sell cars with that attitude. <laughs> You're like, I don't really like it. Hey, man, it's yours. <laughs> Drive it off the lot there. I don't care. <laughs> You're the worst weed dealer ever. Pit, you quit <laughs> mid sale. So great. At <laughs> least offer half off the price. Yeah. Just go to free. Get us. <laughs> Did you, you take, it? take it? No, I didn't take yeah, it. Yeah, I don't yeah. want <laughs> Pit giving away the weed. That's terrible weed. <laughs> He's not even going to smoke it? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. He sells soap online. Hey. For... I wonder if he, the soap on a rope no, he's work... different. <laughs> he's soap on he's a working rope. for the city of That's... Tampa, guys. Yeah. Got married. He moved to Tampa? Pid? Yeah. Yeah, Pid lives in Tampa. Well, he married that? that the woman? He married Minnie Dean's ex-girlfriend. They, uh, <laughs> they live in Tampa together now. What? Minnie Dean's? What? <laughs> yeah, I met that chick one night, went up to Minnie Dean's. They were fucking. So <laughs> in after the van? 
after dad, I said, no, that's when he was living up there on that, in that side room uh, up in the Hollywood Hills, man. <laughs> oh, so we go up there one night. He's with this chick. I'm like, she looks like a witch. I'm in. <laughs> Anyway, talked to her that night. I said, hey, when you're done fucking this bozo, let me know. Oh. Did he ask for her parents' hand in marriage? Did he go to their, uh, ain't, their grave? Ain't doing it. <laughs> <laughs> she was from Pid, Buffalo. You know I love you, Pid. <laughs> she was from Buffalo. The that's, that's, why they, why they moved, that's why yeah. they moved. One there. of the great characters. Ain't going to move to Chicago. That's going backwards. Would that be? Would he be in the top 10 of the book? Pib, yeah, here? Pib would be a guy. You, you'd have to call him for like an hour once you get past just to kind of hear his story. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Just to talk to him. You have to. It's hey, like- man, I was on the bus. This guy's getting crazy. I took out my buck knife there. I was ready to kill him. I was like, Pib, what are you doing? He wants, Barris was getting into a crowd member, another. Guys, comedy store sometimes has problems late at night. No. Crowd member was getting crazy. I was at the bottom of the stairs. I had my knife out. I'm like, Pid, you're going to go to prison. <laughs> hey, man, I ain't, I ain't going out like that. I was like, what are you doing? Why? Just standing at the bottom of the stairs with a knife, a large knife out. Hey, I was working the security. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. And I was like, Pid, please put that Hey, man, you never know. They could come down here. Yeah. I'm like, hey, please <laughs> put it away. He's the bottom of the steps. <laughs> he's not going into the problem. No, no. He's staying there. I'm like, staying just put the it bottom. away. Paris, Paris, making me Paris nervous. Paris tosses an old lady down the stairs. Pid just, <laughs> Pid just janks, him, janks her a couple her times. Yeah. I had to bayonet her. She should not have fallen down the stairs at me. <laughs> <laughs> she came at me. Your Honor, it was pandemonium. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I have seen many cases in my time as a judge in this state, and I will say I have never seen a case of clear pandemonium more than this one case dismissed. I remember Ari would bring up Jimmy Pidd when he would host the employee section of the Monday Night Show. This next comic is literally the stupidest man I've ever read in my life. Jimmy Pidd, there he is. Where do we eat at? Just doesn't address it. Just goes in right to the stuff. Never addressed it. That's because we told him to go right into it. Oh, you told him to do that? don't say where the weed at at the beginning, they're not going to know your character. That's what we told them. So his crowd work, and this is before the crowd work boom online. Dude, it was the best. He was the original Matt Rife. I, Had he been around. I've never laughed harder at crowd work than watching Pitt hitting uh, people with them. Where are you from? Canada? Ain't never been there. Ain't, ain't never go going, going there. <laughs> Moves right on. That's it. That's it. He's moving on to the next. Where are you from? <laughs> Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's That's pretty close to Chicago. Oh. Have you been? <laughs> no, don't think so. Uh, Where are you from? <laughs> no, don't think so. One guy, I forget. It's the state next to nothing, you, man. Nothing. I forget the no country. Where are you? Hey, man, where are you from with that accent there? I forget where it was. It was some like Germany. Sorry, man, I don't speak. I don't speak fag there. <laughs> that was his comment. He did hit him with the fact. <laughs> it was like, all I, right. I think he was, I think the guy was English. It was even better. No. It was oh, the guy who great. spoke English, but he, he did break him down Had with the a hard, I don't speak fag, and then gave the look around like, check me. I got it. I got him. You hear what I, I said, him. guys? Huh? <laughs> I oh, missed God. Him. He, I, he'll hit me up on Facebook every once in a while. What's he um, doing these days? He works for the city. He literally, I don't know, he sets up road cones or some bullshit. Stop it now. Oh, I would love like, to see him like, set up road cones. He literally like and it's hot, so he's got the wife shit. beater. Yeah. yeah, He's got a cone with just a huge, <laughs> his dog. A huge knife Ball. underneath the yeah. cone. <laughs> just holding just it like this. It's a stop sign. In case a crocodile comes up. The back up of the stop sign. He just takes the stop sign part off. There's a huge dagger <laughs> on the handle. Now well, that's hey, a, that's a good weapon. Hey, you hey, know, that's a knife there. <laughs> that's hey, not a knife. This is the only thing that will stop him. <laughs> Is this dagger that I have hidden here? He had one of the best jobs ever in LA. Uh, he worked at a warehouse, and he, <laughs> the warehouse was so big. All the guys in there that are moving the parts, we got to wear roller skates. And this guy just <laughs> no, roller no. skating around. Stop the, it. I love talking to him about it. And he would just, oh, yeah, you got to get, I'm a pretty good skater up there. I can see Pan <laughs> doing some backwards moves with like the box. The skates aren't even tied. I He's brought in a disco ball one night to get a little festive <laughs> in just there. Just picturing Jimmy Pitt as Brett Ernst's greatest bit. Oh, it's yeah. Exciting. Tony. <laughs> Hey, I, I guess I was kind of like Tony now that I think about it like that. <laughs> What's the interview like? They're like, have you ever, 
And you in the old school roller skating? <laughs> I, would, I, like that, I like that voice. How, it, was, it was probably like, how, how are you with the uh, organization? Ain't my thing, man. <laughs> hey, I don't speak gay are stuff. You, uh, <laughs> are you good at all with like any sort of like, could you do computers? Ain't doing that. Never did it. Ain't what about roller it. skates? I, I can probably get up on, the, on the, <laughs> the skates for a while. They ain't doing that roller blade and stuff, though. <laughs> He's I a, told you I ain't from Boys Town, all right, there? <laughs> He's a skating savant. Oh, I'd love going to see off it. jumps, setting them up on the box. <laughs> Looking like Napoleon Dynamite, but yeah, on roller yeah, yeah, skates. Yeah. He would do the whip, the 80s whip, grab a friend's hand oh, and whip him up wow. to the front of the line. We got to get that part up there. <laughs> he also worked Jimmy at a Pitt, candy why do, you work, why do you work at a gay warehouse? I don't know. I didn't know I that's what it was. didn't speak gay. There was just nothing in the boxes. It was just men watching these guys roller skate around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's, that's the dick out. They're filming it. Hey, man, these boxes are light. <laughs> work is work, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Keep skating, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> box ain't heavy at all. There ain't nothing in there, it feels like. <laughs> put it put your dick in the hole, Jimmy. He worked oh, at a That ain't even great. my real name. The real name's Rodney. <laughs> yeah, it was Rodney. That's Changed true. to J I M I. Hey man, I thought Jimmy Hendrix was cool. I went right? with the same spelling. I don't see why. What about not? Pid? Pid it, you know, that means cool. <laughs> what Remember about when he tried to tell yeah, us? We were like, uh, uh, does it? You guys don't know that? At your school, Pid didn't mean cool. <laughs> we're like, no, man, no one has ever heard he of that. He was trying to pass that along. He literally thought <laughs> he great. he thought he named himself Jimmy cool this is why the new paid regulars need to reach out because <laughs> they're gonna, they they're know, not gonna know this knowledge well yeah. i know and we had somebody it's not I, even a paid regular but right. they need to know that yes and, and some of them are like you know oh i just got here in like 2019 yeah, you know i just yeah. the, the pandemic hit, so they don't know anything they don't know pit they don't know pit they don't know they probably bone, never even had uh gotten stopped bones. in some sort of construction in tampa before there ain't no way they're <laughs> gonna see me <laughs> I, when I'm working, I still do the fish tank bit I wonder about if he riding uses the bus. The roller skates with the oh, with the job, yeah, that could be to put Smart. the cones down. That's a good idea. I hope he kept at the least skates. goes in between the cones. <laughs> Does the job pay for the skates? They reimburse you, or do you? Is it, oh, Pitt's doing the, the figure eights and the cones, yeah, the Central cones. Park style. That'd be nice. That'd be real. I fell on my knife. I got eighty stitches in my ass there. It's open, open knife in the back pocket. Man, you, what year do you think it is, man? Nineteen eighty and seven, man. Eighty and seven. Eighty seven somewhere. Okay, that makes no sense. Hey, man, we are family. <laughs> that was the Pittsburgh Pirates at 789. Oh, my God. I got to get paid. I want to fly him out to host a skating party for my kids. Maybe a kid's That'd birthday. That'd be amazing. Jimmy Pitt on the mic. Yeah. <laughs> hey, couples party. <laughs> PJ and Davey can help with the babysitting. <laughs> Wait, Davey, the we just together. need Davey there for knifing purposes. <laughs> yes. Get Davey. him on roller skates. Uh, hand them Tremendous. a dozen daggers. Is Davey still up. around? He uh, he lives yeah, he in was, Kentucky, I think. Oh, right? back in Kentucky. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, he has cerebral palsy. If you don't know who Davy <laughs> Wester is, legend. Look As, up, uh, look up uh, Macaulay Culkin after a skateboarding accident. <laughs> and a picture of him should come up. <laughs> after I remember, uh, he, he was David Wester until we decided otherwise. <laughs> Davy, we're like, yeah, you're, you're David. David. You're, you're more of a David. Uh, he was David. so mad. Wait, you really like, changed his name yeah. from David? Not to legally. David. We didn't go no, to court, no, but I, 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 it was a, it was a majority rules vote. We I legitimately, get it, I get it. we would only write his name on the list as Davey. And then he got, they had, Tommy asked him to become a doorman. Yeah. Well, and then he was You Davey. seem tough. You're going to work the back door at security. I got an idea. Oh, well, we got Davey. Can and you do the marquee? <laughs> you put the well, names up. We'll make Jeez. PJ do it. <laughs> climb ladders. <laughs> In our day, they made the cerebral palsy guy skip up the ladder in the rain. Now, That's right. <laughs> yeah, now it's nightly. They have a drone that does it. Ugh. From the office. What a bunch of sissies. These guys still complain to their union boss. <laughs> they can't do it. Wait, wait. Uh, by the way, to have the nerve to bring in Jerry as a union leader. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, I like that. You know, you... you, you <sighs> Tell him your complaint. You let him know what's going on, and obviously Jerry gets on that right away. They call him Jerry Hoffa. Yeah, that's what they're saying. <laughs> and they look. Oh, well, you know, I got my shift covered. Right. But they didn't. The person didn't show up. I don't think I should be blamed for that. And then Jerry will be like, "You want me to fix the ice machine?" And they're like, "No, <laughs> no, no one said that." He's like, "I can probably do we it." We didn't say that at all. Jerry. I can probably do it. But someone's got a someone's got a someone's got a finger blast, Laney, though. <laughs> wow! Oh, oh, hey now! 
<laughs> hey now. Ain't nobody finger blasting Dane's mom. Period. <laughs> I think too. These pay, p- new paid regulars need yeah, to know. Some other top they need tenors. to know what the. They it, should have to the, go down on Laney or Jerry. That, they choose. That they was, choose. Took the, one, took the words one. right out of my mouth on that. <laughs> but they need to know how we were influencing careers and people's lives. Like Davy, we gave him yeah. a, a name. Gave him a stuck. new name. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, John Poet. Do you remember yep. John Poet? Yeah, he was just John Poet for a while. Right. And then Poet. he got, and then he got interesting thanks to us. He was like a sixty-five-year-old man who drove a taxi, uh, wore a white dress shirt black slacks every week F- ready like full falling down so came every oh yeah like every that. week like to the open man's mic. falling down out right. it. and he would do he would, slowly but surely he was getting more and more energy on stage yeah. and just getting crazier and he started doing these thrust th- subtle hip thrusts <laughs> yeah and it just turned us in the back thrust it <laughs> and he would just start thrusting give it some more thrust there's a little more thrust up there poet and so we built them to like a let we would give them standing ovations mid set no. yeah and the audience would be looking around like if what's we, going on if we, we yeah poet if we, we chant spent, poet if we spent 80 percent of the time in the first 10 years we were here Working on our own craft. Or doing anything constructive. As opposed to just trying to destroy the sets of the dumbest people around us. <laughs> we'd be billionaires. We'd, we'd be somewhere. but We'd be the Smothers Brothers. At the same time, we wouldn't be able to say that we sent John Poet in the right direction. You once... So uh, out of think, comedy. I think you were working uh, the uh, OR, and you just did an, uh, ECW wrestling, and you threw about 80 chairs <laughs> onto the stage as he performed, and you just like piled them up around him, yeah. and he just did not blink. You he can't was, get Poet off his no, game. you can't fuck him up. You were throwing chairs at him. Yeah. Not at him, Allegedly. just around. Allegedly. Around. Piling. Around. Just yeah, piling. I, it, was, it was the time of the night where sometimes you're supposed to stack chairs loosely on the <laughs> right, stage. Right, right, right. <laughs> And so what I was doing was that, and there was a guy who was getting in the way of that. It was chair Jenga. Yeah. And, and he was thrusting like it did. He, he still, was on the face. It didn't phase. affect it. Like, loud banging, loud, like a lot of commotion, oh but the God. thrusting and the show goes on. That's what we learned I from Poet. I don't even Poet. remember this, but this is probably when I quit beady Monday eyes. nights. Eyes. Or beady Sundays. Eyes we built them up, but then we tore them down. Yeah. Of course. We turned on them. That is so we started, you guys. We started booing them <laughs> every, every thrust got booed louder Boo. and louder. <laughs> Get out of here, pervert. <laughs> we had forced him to become this character. Oh. And then dismantled a 60 year old man. (laughs) Ruined his dreams. So good. We would do chance that his three minute set would have like a minute of poet (laughs) poet at the beginning. Just (laughs) the And there was no one in the crowd to overcome us. So it was what we wanted. Yeah, who's going to stop you guys? Also, wasn't there a guy you would make go up and bark? Well, that was well, that, that was, was that was Rick's personal project. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was my own awesome. pet project. Then you you had him going up with uh, pet lost pet signs. Uh, yeah, listen. <laughs> He's like, look at this. It's a golden retriever. <laughs> if you loved it, why is it gone? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the important thing was Drew needed direction, right? And the way he was going wasn't it, right? And I, what I was saying was, let's try, try something this. else, yeah, and see what happens. So you were like his mentor. I was giving him inspiration. I was his right. muse. This isn't working. What if instead of being you, we did a dog thing? We did something else. We went I with like the dog this. direction, and then Mitzi showed up. <laughs> he had he had to. The fun vacuum. Show, he had to showcase for his job. Right. He got nervous. We told him, dude, do the dog stuff. It's been working. <laughs> Stick to the goal. It's been working. Hatchell in on this plan as well. It's me and Hatchell. Hatchell, would, he would get in on plans. Yeah. He wasn't eating. He dude, would get in on some it. stuff. Uh, America, he's working the hard angle. Uh, he wasn't eating. America loves dogs. That <laughs> I have was, the research. That was Hatchell's, Hatchell's selling point always. America loves dogs. <laughs> Based it, on nothing. If you do it, if you do it, if you do it good enough. Yeah. Someone in the audience really will, will, will rub your belly up there. Oh, this guy committing was not this guy's problem. Somebody will rub your belly. <laughs> that was the pinnacle. If he did it all right, someone would offer to rub his belly while he was on stage. <laughs> and this dude took that fucking bait and just went uh-huh. up there. He didn't last very long. No, he got the <laughs> he, was he got the light about about 
40 seconds into his set. Jesus But I mean, like, Christ. he didn't last it here long. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. He was done. But I can't imagine Mitzi losing her fucking What's mind. What's he doing? What? Is, give him the he light. He got off stage. He Christ. comes back. I don't think it went well. We go, dude, she loved it. <laughs> <laughs> loved that's it. when the real work is done. After well. the set is where the real work is done. <laughs> <laughs> Convincing them that your plans and are what's he, going well. he had half the brain to know it didn't go well. <laughs> and and then, you guys are like, dude. Uh, dude. Dude, crushed. She loved Your Lo- typical Mitzi. self-hating comic. That was great. <laughs> and then... <laughs> don't be such a typical comic. And then comic. Duncan... Uh, d- dude, Mitzi was so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Duncan. It's not part of the plan. <laughs> and then Dean had Stick to tell him, <laughs> Mitzi, Mitch, you can't... Mitzi said you can't work here, man. <laughs> it was like, oh, they fired him. It's was so he, I, wasn't he, though, not a comic when they hired him? And then he was like, oh, I'll do comedy. He, he, he just wanted to do comedy... He didn't do the open mics though. And like, he showed up job. during the day, and his resume was that he had done the um, Universal Studio tours. He was a right. tour guy. That I remember. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that so, fits. Hey, that everybody! Totally. That was his comedy. It was <laughs> hey, everyone! Thanks for coming out tonight. Round of applause if you're having a great time. <laughs> if you look over there, you'll see Indiana Jones Boulder. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong job. <laughs> and he's doing this to four people in an oh, open yeah. mic. We're just in like OR. round of applause. Yeah. Who is the skinny guy? Larry was his name. Larry. Oh, uh, the older gentleman. He used to work uh, do the tours as well. Did he, Larry? Yeah, what was his last name? He wasn't older. It was an older guy. He was real skinny. It was an older Larry who looked like uh, Dale from King of the Hill. Oh, Do you remember shit. that? shit. Do you remember no. that? No. Can't think of his last name. I remember name. the lady, the old lady that said she fucked Elvis. Oh, uh, Ziggy? Wilda. Wilda. Oh, hey, Wilda. doll. Wilda. Hey, I had to doll. move her car because the soap maker, Mac Lindsay, would be so <laughs> aggressive to her. <laughs> He'd be like, tell me about fucking Elvis, Wilda. <laughs> <laughs> you got to move her car. She doesn't like Mac, okay? <laughs> but they wouldn't tell him to stop. <laughs> it was just me moving her car as her personal driver because this guy was so aggressive. You got a new job because so like, we hire idiots here. 85-year-old woman. And I was like, Jesus, Mac, come on. You got to go easy on it. What did his dick taste like? Tell us what the king's dick tasted like. It was like. so aggressive. And yeah, she just looking at him, you're a slob. Like, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah right? she was like real classy. <laughs> yeah, she was like a classy dame from the 50s. And I would just, and she Back just, when a bird knew her, her worth. <laughs> you're a nice to her, okay? Just park her car. Jeez, Mac. Be good to her. <laughs> Max, not going to change. <laughs> but don't say anything, though. First of all, just, you work around his bad He's behavior. a soap maker. Work around it. He lives in Greece. <laughs> Different roles. <laughs> I remember just it's looking true. at it. You could, like, it was so hard to get fired. I'm like, sometimes. this guy is saying this to this woman who seems like a yeah. nice, by nice all lady. accounts, nice woman. <laughs> Hasn't done anything. Just trying deserving. to do stand up at 88 years old. Leave you never <laughs> glory. <laughs> I just remember her sitting in the kitchen, like us having to give her water, like because she had a trauma. I thought you were talking about Ziggy. Oh, Ziggy. Which one's Ziggy? She had an ankle that was ready to explode (laughs) very often. (laughs) Speaking of waterbed. Yeah. (laughs) It was swollen. Like a big swollen. Oh, Big, huge ankle. Bigger than my cheek? No, no, it made your cheek look (laughs) like. You're not going to believe this. It looked like crispy chicken's nut. No. It was that swollen. It was bad. Crispy chicken's nut's pretty big. You're not going to believe this either, but she did a Barbara Walters impression. Wow. Oh, yeah. And get this. It was Barbara Walters. It was Barbara Wawa. That was her. <laughs> she did. Uh, who was it? Judy uh, the over the rainbow. What's her name? Judy, Judy Garland, Garland, which yeah. is all very topical. Yeah. The crowd <laughs> loved them. It was two thousand and two. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it this was, was God yeah, of work. It was more recent. If there was, <laughs> were as Lauren Michaels would say, <laughs> if there was ever a time to do it, it's this week. <laughs> She auditioned for SNL. <laughs> yeah, she this year. How'd she do? She was, her ankle blew up and they had to take her off the stage. Uh, where? Oh, my ankle. Is it, oh, she did a Roseanne Barr. She did a lot of good stuff. <laughs> she would chew the gum. When, yeah. when you would get Ziggy and Mickey back to back, oh, that's when you tremendous. knew the show was fucking good. And you didn't get a spot? And you're oh. like, oh, this is totally you're like, worth this, it. like, this industry is going to work out was good. <laughs> Wait a minute. You guys wouldn't get a spot? They yeah. didn't have friends and family at that point? No, we were open micers still. So yeah, and you we were just, oh, we were drawn out of here. the bucket. And you would just okay. go like months without getting one. And then every week, and Ziggy Mickey, would do it every week. Yeah, you're like, this is fair. It's a fair system. How How is everybody but they tonight? Do- I am Bob Wawa. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, she's doing it again, even though there's two people here. And it's never done well. If she's alive. She's living for 
for this. New this paid regulars like, need to talk to her or visit her. her where visit she's her buried. grave. This, Hollywood visit, Cemetery. This is wherever her corpse was just drying out on the ground somewhere. Uh huh. Are we, are I we, think is that's it time me. to wrap it up? Um, yeah, I mean, we've been going. Oh, I got to be on stage. Hour. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you, you gotta I'm be on supposed stage. to be on stage 10 15. I thought Brian would come get me. All right, me. let's wrap this up. Brian Holtzman? No, by the way, no one has even texted or looked no for one me. Cares. So. <laughs> Amber Alerts. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, Danish, where can they find you? Uh, now that I'm an influencer at yeah. the. Jeff Danis on Twitter and Instagram. Wow. Posting it all. You can see, me and Eleanor we and I have, have a, a podcast. podcast together. Rick and I are podcast brother husbands. Yeah. I love this. With you. Yeah. yeah that's true. Well, we have that in common. Yeah, we're Eskimo podcasters. Oh, wow. I, <laughs> I like that. I think Eskimo we're allowed to say podcast. that. Anymore. I'm allowed to say it. I did comedy in Canada a couple weeks ago. <laughs> and you did it in uh, Alaska. I've done it twice. One of the best. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, Another it's great Alaska, character. So. I gotta tell anyone, I, uh, I actually uh, founded this state. <laughs> the whole state. They, they, they uh, banned me because they gold rushed so much up here. <laughs> they call me Gold Rush. Uh, I won't say the last name. They were going to give me a check for 200 I was uh, played quarterback for the 69ers up here. So. <laughs> The ice pack. <laughs> Wait, what did he say about the check? It would only work in the... The problem was the check they were going to write you from outside the continental 48 states. So it would have taken a couple weeks. So I just got you the cash, but they didn't have all of it. So I had to go back and talk to the guy and then he got the cash. So now we got the cash. No problems. That's classic. Outside the U.S. 40. That's a big problem. Business. Uh, that's why, that's why it's, what Wall, Wall fucking, Street's not in Alaska. By the way, that's a, a phenomenal line. So, you got to give it to him. Yeah. Oh, all, like, almost all of his lies were pretty uh, good. Um, I mean, I would say 60% of America would be like, maybe that is how it works. That is possible. I've never cashed a check from Hawaii from Alaska, or Alaska. So. And they are <laughs> Why, who has? Unless you live there. They have, if you live there, it's different. It doesn't work. Say, rule, these rules don't apply. It's if you if you live in the continental. They actually got to bring the money here by covered wagon <laughs> still. <laughs> covered wagon? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Pulled by an oxen. Yeah. An oxen? That's not even fast. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's snow, so, you know. Uh, so good. One um, of the greats. All right, so yeah, check us out on What's Up, Doc. But yeah, also please. like uh, and subscribe this podcast yeah. with my other uh, podcast yep. husband, Rick Ingram. And also, I have a podcast called What's Up, Doc, where I just <laughs> prank phone call Doc Willis. <laughs> and uh, hey, Rick, I'm glad you're calling, man. Let me ask you a question about what my auntie told me in 2007, <laughs> man. She said, keep your hopes and your dreams up. Right? <laughs> and do you think that's true? It's Christopher Lloyd and Doc Willis. You alternate. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Between the two of them. You know where you guys won't see me? It would be a random question. <laughs> you won't see me at the comedy store because oh. I've been shadow banned at this building. Is that right? I haven't been here three to four months. Wow. Oh, that's house. crazy. My therapist told me not to come back here. Really? I'll dredge up that too much. That this is trauma? My therapist is in the car. I'm going to go right <laughs> and talk right when I get out of here. Who do, who wow. Do you, are you, yeah. Who are you seeing, Darren Betterhelp.com has really gotten close up, close and personal. I won't divulge uh, what site it is. Okay. But it's, uh, <laughs> who, from, who what I, uh, from what I understand, he's being driven around by Tiffany Haddish <laughs> now. So That is true. <laughs> She's a hot Haddish. All right, thanks for listening, guys. Please subscribe. Check us out on uh, the YouTubes. Uh, all of it. We're on all of it. We're on all of it Alta as well. Vista. Alta Vista. Um, I don't Did know you say last time Napster? Napster. Um, you can catch us on MySpace. Cheerleading uh, conventions. Yep. Yes, everywhere. All right, thanks, guys. Bye. Thank See you, you next time. <laughs>